The death toll has crossed 5,000 in the earthquake that hit Turkey and Syria. Three devastating quakes of magnitude 7.8, 7.6 and 6 hit Turkey's southern regions on Monday. We tell you the signs behind why Turkey has been hit by a series of powerful earthquakes. The first earthquake of magnitude 7.8 is being described as the strongest the country has experienced in over a century. Turkey is in a seismically active zone and according to the United States Geological Survey, Monday's quake struck along a well-known fault line called the Anatolia Tectonic Block. The earthquakes emerged from shallow depths which made them more devastating. So why were they more devastating? because they carried greater energy when they emerged on the surface. The first earthquake originated 17.9 kilometers below Earth's surface. All the subsequent ones, including the one of 7.5 magnitude, emerged from even closer to the surface. For example, the earthquake in Nepal two weeks ago, whose tremors were felt in many parts of northern India, originated about 25 kilometers below the Earth's surface. Deeper earthquakes lose much of their energy by the time they come to the surface and that's why it did not cause large-scale damage. But the Nepal earthquake also had a low magnitude of 5.8. This brings us to another indicator that tells us how destructive an earthquake will be. Magnitude is a measure of how big the waves are, while strength refers to the energy it carries. Magnitude is measured on a logarithmic scale, which means the seismic waves produced by a magnitude 6 earthquake have 10 times higher amplitude than the ones produced by a magnitude 5 earthquake. Now this means that the 7.8 magnitude earthquake in Turkey on Monday was 100 times bigger, produced 100 times bigger waves than the 5.8 earthquake in Nepal and was 1024 times more powerful. In general, Every change of 0.1 in magnitude results in about 1.4 times change in energy. However, there is still no way to predict an earthquake. Earthquakes continue to remain the most common natural hazard that cannot be predicted. As such, no early warning systems can be developed. Scientists have been able to map the areas that are earthquake prone and are likely to generate earthquakes in future. But there is no way to predict when. For example, scientists say the Himalayan region has so much accumulated stress beneath the surface that it could result in multiple 7 or 8 magnitude earthquakes, but it cannot be predicted when that would happen. With Amitabh Sinha, this is Charulata for Indian Express.